swing through the Midwest. He called President Biden's border policies a bloodbath, his word. The former president also attacking Biden for the, quote, migrant crime surge that Trump claims America is facing, saying he will get justice for Americans who have been killed by illegal immigrants. It's a shame. It's a sad shame. Under crooked Joe Biden, every state is now a border state. Every town is now a border town because Joe Biden has brought the carnage and chaos and killing from all over the world and dumped it straight into our backyards. And people are coming in from prisons and mental institutions and nobody's ever seen anything like it. Polls suggest Trump has an advantage when it comes to immigration as voters share concerns about illegal border crossings hitting record highs. I will seal the border, stop the invasion, and send Joe Biden's illegal aliens the hell back home. Day after day, week after week, Joe Biden is releasing illegal criminals into our communities to rape, pillage, plunder, and to kill. And by the way, here's the only thing. He doesn't even have a clue, in my opinion. These are young, smart people that happen to be fascists and communists that surround. We're going to take our country back. In Iowa this week, another illegal immigrant released by Joe Biden pled guilty to sexually assaulting a 12-year-old girl. And last week, yet another Biden migrant was arrested for the rape and murder of Rachel. Rachel Bond. I just spoke to her mother, Patricia, Patty, as they say, but Patricia. Which brings me to the latest shooting that occurred in Philadelphia of the police officer that was shot by Vasquez, who was a illegal immigrant that crossed the border that the Philadelphia officials are not telling the peoples. So I'm here to bring it to the peoples that it was an illegal immigrant that shot the officer in the neck. And they're not talking about it. As they would say, keeping it 100, keeping it real, because they don't want to look bad. They don't want Joe Biden to look bad. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, it was an illegal immigrant that shot the police officer in the neck. I'm sorry I have to come up here and, and, and spread the news to y'all that way, but we got to get this news out there, y'all, because fake news not going to talk about it. And we already know the city officials are not talking about it because they're part of the Biden and get it long gang. But at this point, a police officer is fighting for his life and he might not survive, ladies and gentlemen. He might not survive. He was. And if he don't survive, he was killed by an illegal immigrant who crossed the border a couple days ago. But first tonight, we're getting a look. The man now charged with shooting a Philadelphia police officer over the weekend, leaving him fighting for his life. I'm Jason Martinez. The officer remains in the hospital tonight, nearly two days later. And we're learning more about the moments that led up to the shooting Saturday night. Police say it all started with a traffic stop in North Philadelphia when things escalated. The officer, who we're told is 31 years old, six years on the force, was rushed to the hospital by his partner. Meantime, the suspect is now being held on $12.5 million bail. Our Kelly Rule has the latest on the investigation. At the family's request, police say they are not identifying the officer or providing any updates on the 31-year-old's condition, but the commissioner did say today he is still on a respirator and he has a battle, and they're still asking for prayers for him and his family. Again, police say this senseless shooting happened roughly 30 minutes into what they say was a normal traffic stop. Surveillance video obtained by Fox 29 shows the flashing lights of a Philadelphia police SUV just before 7.15 Saturday night on the 3500 block of F Street. It's where police say two officers pulled over 36-year-old Ramon Rodriguez Vasquez and quickly moved to a live stop. The video immigrant. shows the PPA tow truck arrive. Police say Rodriguez Vasquez did not have a license, registration, or other of paperwork. Of course he didn't have none of that goddamn paperwork because he was Ill illegal. Them illegal, them, them migrants are riding around illegal and everything, man. Here's a perfect shot of this dude, y'all. Fucking migrant. The officers are engaged for almost 20 minutes. There is, a, there is no elevation to it. 
the individuals walking around. I mean, there is, is it's, it's just a normal stop. Police say Rodriguez Vasquez makes a phone call and two women and another man show up in a separate car to help him get his belongings when one of the officers sees a holster on the floorboard. They call for the, uh, the offender to, to say, we got to talk to you. Um, and they're walking over to him. At that point, he's carrying some items that he'd taken from the car, places them down on the ground, and he flees. The video shows Rodriguez Vasquez pause in the street before running off. Without any provocation, turns, and he fires three shots towards the officers. A 31-year-old officer, six-year veteran, was struck behind the ear, police say. His partner returns fire once before scooping him. The video shows that officer pull the vehicle up, run out, and speed off to the hospital moments later. Police say Rodriguez Vasquez on the run, tried to get into a nearby garage, approached a minivan, and possibly attempts to get in, but the driver drove off, and then forced himself inside a home on East Schiller Street, holding the homeowner at gunpoint. After a barricade, SWAT officers get inside and take Rodriguez Vasquez into custody. Evidence is showing that he was he was trying his best to make plans just to to get out of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. It's just an absolutely and cross back over to the border. Tell the peoples. Tell the peoples. Stop holding back. Tell him he was an illegal migrant here in Philadelphia. Despicable, cowardly act. We fully intend to very vigorously prosecute this case. District Attorney Larry Krasner saying the investigation is solid and will only get stronger as police ask for continued prayers for the officer and his family by his side at the hospital. But he's on a respirator. Uh, he's in a battle. And new tonight, law enforcement sources. He's not going to make it, ladies and gentlemen. The police officer is not going to make it. He got shot in his juggler vein. And we all know that's a motherfucking deadly spot there. And all this is thanks to who? Crooked. Joe Biden migrant policy, all right? Let's remember that. Let's not forget that. Joe Biden has blood on his hands along with the rest of his cronies. Y'all got blood on your hands. And that's crazy because this was during the same day Donald Trump gave a speech in Philadelphia calling it the Joe Biden migrant crime wave. And look what happened. An hour later, a police officer was shot in the neck by a migrant. Sources telling me Rodriguez Vasquez was arrested in Puerto Rico about 17 years ago for shooting at officers after a carjacking. He was charged in that case. For this latest case, again, he is being held at $12.5 million, facing numerous charges, including attempted murder. Reporting outside Temple Hospital, I'm Kelly Rule.